Hi there. The Microsoft Authenticator app that we know and love has been around for some time. It gives us a, an additional layer of security to Azure AD, uh, work and school accounts and our Microsoft accounts. When using the app, it allows users to authenticate in a passwordless way when signing in, but also as an additional layer of verification to uh, SSPR or self-service password reset and also during our Azure AD MFA events. Microsoft have now gone one step further and in their latest release have introduced some new security features uh, for iOS and Android. This includes the number matching experience with push notifications and also some additional context where it gives you information about the app and location the person is logging in from. So in this video, we're gonna look at how you set that up and give the end user experience. So let's first look at the Microsoft website here, as I like to do, um, and pick out a few points. Um, as it says, the number matching is a key security upgrade to traditional second factor notifications in the uh, Authenticator app. And please know it's showing that it will be enabled by default for all tenement tenants a few months after uh, G8. At the moment, this is in preview, so I recommend going into your uh, Azure tenant and turning that on, and we'll have a look at that in a second. Now, there are a few uh, prerequisites, but by turning number matching on, um, this can be targeted to a single group, uh, dynamic or nested, it can be on-premise synchronized security groups and cloud-only security groups. And once that's done, you've got the ability to um, do number matching uh, across number scenarios, including these, such as MFA, SSPR, and the combined SSPR, MFA registration during uh, the Authenticator app setup. Now, the next point I want to uh, just highlight that there are some schema changes that you can turn number matching on and you would do this through the MS Graph um, application. So have a look through that if, uh, if that's appropriate for you. Um, but as it says here, um, if you've already got password list turned on for your users, uh, by enabling number matching, this has no impact uh, because it's already part of the password list experience. So what we're interested in is actually taking um, the more user-friendly route and we can actually enable this within your Azure tenant. So if you go over to your Azure tenant, sorry, there, um, you select security and then authentication methods. Hopefully you've got the Microsoft Authenticator app option there. Um, I've got it switched on um, at the moment, so please go ahead and uh, switch that on if you haven't already. But if we go into the settings, um, you want to basically enable this uh, for uh, your strong authentication. And this is where you can select and target your users. You can target all users or select users. In my case, I've selected a specific user group. And the reason for that is I'm going to demonstrate this working across two different users, uh, one with it um, uh, number matching turned on and, and then the other user with it turned off. OK, now if I just highlight here that if you go into the configure option, you've got authentication methods here, uh, the modes. Um, if you select any or passwordless, then that will enable uh, this number matching to work. If you select push, then it won't. So um, it can either be any or passwordless, and I've selected any here. Then obviously um, you want to ensure that you've turned your uh, number matching on, you've enabled that. And there's this other option for uh, additional context in notification, as it's showing it's in preview. Um, that will give you details about where the person is logging on from um, it will show you a little map of where that that person is but it will also show you which application you're signing into so I'm, I've enabled that and I'll uh, I'll be showing that during the demo too okay we'll cancel out of that for now and we'll go into a, a quick demo of how this is used
before we jump into the uh, testing here um, I want to keep note of the fact that I've assigned uh, these settings to the MFA test users group if I head back into my Intune tenant and go into groups sorry groups um, let's check that MFA test users group so I've got three users assigned to this the one I'm going to try and log on one is with Chris um, but I'm also going to log on with another user outside of this group just to show the difference in the experience um, so at this point you'll notice I've got my iPhone mirrored to the screen here this is show the Lava experience um, from my iPhone app uh, and the authenticator app as we go through the logon I'm going to open a, a new in private window just to isolate make sure that we're not picking up any cache details and I'm going to log on to my security info within an account um, I'm going to pick uh, an account that does not have this number matching uh, turned on for it's going to ask me for my for the password initially and then the second factor authentication should prompt me via the authenticator app to log on as it did it automatically went there and as you see it's saying approve sign in in sign in request so if I go into the authenticator app you can see it there and for the same user and I can approve that it's going to uh, authenticate me by my face ID and then it's going to log me in okay so that was the example before using number matching I'm going to sign out of this account And next time I'm going to go on to the same uh, website uh, I'm going to log on to my details for a different account that has this number matching um, set up for so again I'll close that open a new in private window go to aka.ms my security info this time I'm going to use a different account um, and we're going to use the Chris Haig account enter the password as the first factor of authentication it's going to log me in and it should prompt me via the authenticator app as you see you've got a number match that's come up okay it's asking me to approve the sign in and as you can see on my phone it's there's two there's a number of things happening here it's telling me the location it's also telling me the app I'm trying to log on with it's giving me a map of where the logon is occurring now if I enter this two pin, two pin uh, two digit pin and then approve this on the the app itself it should authenticate me again through facial recognition within the app um, and then it's going to uh, it should automatically log me in so that multi-factor authentication is passwordless um, it's using the authenticator app uh, with my facial recognition turned on and it's logged me straight straight in that gives you the added security layer if someone did steal um, steal your phone and they needed to go through the authenticator app approval that's not going to work it's not going to work with your fingerprint uh, unless they know the pin unless it's set up with a pin there is that possibility but it's giving you also the ability to add a two digit um, number match which allows you to avoid any um, any errors or but anything you make by mistake to sign in with that's it for this video thanks very much for watching We've looked at deploying the number matching and context location now being released for the Authenticator app. Give this a go for yourself and switch it on. And by all means, let me know how you get on and if you've got any queries. Please subscribe to the channel and 
Therefore, you'll be notified of any new uh, videos that are being released. Thanks very much.